Sorry, guys, there's a bit of a gremlin in the system for those out there. But we should be back and live now. It's funny, nothing ever lets you know. It's like we can't stop in the middle of a chorus and then just pick up. So it just continues on. I don't know what part of it it dropped down on. Who knows? All right, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to play now a... Uh, let's play Hummin. Yeah, this is, a, this is a tune by a really great friend of mine. Played with him a lot, lot, lot. And uh, I remember the first time we played this because I'd heard it, but I had it was it was from the later period. So this goes out to Roy McCurdy out there. We've got another one for you later, Roy. Um, so, uh, but he he sprung it on me, and he he knew I could deal with it. But it's like it it is uh, it's deceptively simple. It's one of those tunes that you would think. Well, it sounds natural because it's called humming. And he said, that's what it's like. He said, just, just think you're humming the melody along with me. I said, yeah, but I don't have any music. He said, you get it. You know what it's about. It's just the blues. But it's not. But anyway, <laughs> that's the way Nat was. And we got through it, no problem. So we played it every night then. All right, so this is called Humming Nat Adderley. Thank you. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that's from about 1966 or 67, right? Although it's right here now. Yeah. Because some, some of us weren't born then. So, <laughs> so, uh, so we kind of go all over the map, but the aim is to actually play everything like we own it. Because we're not, you know, we're, we're not trying to recreate the past. This stuff is timeless. M Modesto Brazania on the trumpet? The Shilky Gold Trumpet? I was here in 66. I, I didn't know. I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't trying to peep you out, man. I was drinking butter water. <laughs> uh, Sylvia Cuenca on the drums, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Saxton holding down the single bass or the double bass. And uh, Matt Clark on the, on, the, uh, on the acoustic piano. <laughs> So this is a tune by the great vibraphonist Bob, Bobby Hutchison. Uh, we haven't played it up to this stage, and it's a pretty well-known tune, so it's funny that we're getting to it now after all this time. It's not an omission, but we just had so much good stuff to get through. We played a couple of his other tunes in the past from those albums, but this is a, a very special tune. So shout-out goes to uh, his wonderful son, who often tunes in. And he's a great pian uh, great drummer. Uh, I think he still lives up here, doesn't he, in the Bay Area? Or has he moved? Yeah, I think he's still up here in the Bay Area, somewhere somewhere near Half Moon Bay. So, uh, And that's what this tune is written about. Uh, so uh, this is called Little Bee's Poem. Thank you. 
All right, we're going to cool down a little bit now, but we're going to play a... Uh, uh, last week we played some film noir kind of music uh, in a grander sense because we played Bronislaw Caper and we also played Cole Porter and a lot of different stuff that was used in those films. Uh, but this tune is written at the same time, but it's written by one of the masters of modern jazz. His name is Dizzy Gillespie. And... Uh, it's a beautiful ballad. He didn't write a lot of ballads, but he wrote this pretty early on, and it's reminiscent of the same kind of stuff. Um, and uh, he was very specific about the changes that he talked about because it was supposed to be reflective of that style. This is called I Waited For You. Thank you. 
All right, now uh, now we go to one of the other bebop masters. We, we lost him uh, uh, a few weeks ago, and he was a uh, very different. Oh, that's a beautiful sound in the back there. It's all good. It adds to the acoustics of this room. Uh, so w this is a, a tune by Barry Harris. It's called Luminescence. The great Barry Harris. Shout out. He did so much for everyone. So like Dizzy, he was one of the the great teachers of this modern music. And guess what? None of them got invited to the party when the colleges started doing this stuff. Remarkable, really. And then we wonder why it sounds like it does. All right. So uh, enjoy.
<laughs> All right. You dig? <laughs> yeah, Barry, Barry doesn't mess around. But, you know, he likes those really good tunes. So that was on based on How High the Moon. But, but you know, he, he's, he loves Bird, but that's more Bud than Bird. <laughs> you know, that's, that's Barry. Love, bub, love Bud Pal and love Bird too. Uh, let's play, let's do that 7-4 thing. Okay, uh, this goes out to Roy McCurdy again. A um, little experimental here. Uh, this is a Joe Zawinul composition. It's called 74 Miles Away.
So, you know, um, with apologies, but if we were playing this every night for like uh, a few months, this stuff goes like uh, to the moon, as you would have heard with that band. So, 74 Miles Away, Joe Zawinul, and uh, the great Roy McCurdy on drums really make that sound happening. So, we're going to do a jam session in a couple of seconds. We've got uh, one more tune to play. It's uh, from the Great American Songbook. Again, it, I think it's by Richard Rogers. It's called Lover. And then while we're playing, there's some people going to come in and we're going to get a guitarist in. He's going to hook up to uh, the sound. And then a whole bunch of horn players because there's bunches up the back. And then we, even, we have a great drummer here. So he'll move in after the next uh, tune. Give Sylvia a break. And I've got to say, like, we have done these shows now for a long while. We do, like, a second set ends up sometimes being two and a half hours long, which, which is the whole set, right? We just start and we go through it, which is pretty good entertainment value, seeing you're not paying for anything, right? Sounds good. Yeah, right? But you can pay at uh, Spate Jazz, PayPal, Venmo, all this stuff. It's all up there. We thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to keep doing this until these stupid viruses have gone away to die. So the, the word is for you guys, if you want to keep good jazz, you know, just don't take any precautions. Just do what you want to do, keep getting sick, and we can keep passing it around. Of course, we probably might play anyway. That's what we do. Uh, but w we, we thank you for tuning in. We've got some more musicians coming up in a second. They're working it out. And uh, this is called Lover, or the whale song, Blubber.
All right. Did you like that? Yeah. It's a, a pretty compact set, right? Yeah. We try not to practice up here, but it's inevitable that we do. <laughs> That's Modesto Brazania. Sylvia Cuenca back there on the drums. She is responsible for all the heat. I guarantee it. The, the fire is coming from there. It, and uh, Jeff Saxton. Man, the pulse is strong here now. I mean, you're dealing with it, Jeff. It's there. It's, it's getting stronger and stronger, and we are not playing easy music, so I hold that to any other bass player who comes in. There's a lot of music we're going through. Jeff Saxton. Yeah. Modesto Brazania with his gold trumpet, of course. And uh, the great Matthew Clark. There is no music that he can't play. Or maybe there is. How do you like Kulantong music? If we put that with gamelan music and then put some like bagpipes on it, and, um, <laughs> and how about some uh, like a, a Jewish harp and a nose flute? Can you do that? How does that all work? But it can't be in any key. It must be in the key of earth. Matthew Clark. All right, we got we got a whole lot of people coming up here. Musicians full of the house, it's, the word is getting. So, Karen, you want to come up and play some drums? As Sylvia Cuenca, she's got, this is the first time she's actually got the chance to get off the drums for a long while, right? So she can go and have some soup in the kitchen. We have a soup kitchen here. So Karen's coming up. We've got lots of guys. Uh, they're going to play It Could Happen to You to start with, and then I'll remember April. Yeah.
Yeah. And it goes straight through like three and a half minutes of that. Should I talk to Rick now? No, no, no. Um. Oh, we'll just run it out. Um. <laughs> okay. No, no. We'll we'll play um. The swing version of. I thought about you, but not as a ballad, but like singing. Because that's what beat you I'm doing. So B flat? You have, you have to hold the chord Which, 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 what's the first part? Say half a minute? No, that, 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 that will be an F. We can do it in F.
too many people here to mention. Thank you so much. Live at 5 will continue until uh, it won't. All right. Thank you so much and uh, we'll be back next week. <laughs>